The Earth is a huge, magnificent location about which we are always inquisitive, but it is a speck in the scheme of things. Since technology made it possible for us to send satellites and rockets into space, we've been eager to understand more about the unknown. The Voyager is providing us information to process, and it has just issued us a dire warning that is about to change everything. How do we go about doing that? Come along as we discuss everything. So far, the Voyager has discovered, to understand what is happening right now, and the scary warning, and what it can mean for the future, we must go back to the beginning, which was the original launch of the Voyager and Voyager 2. Despite what their names would imply, the first explorer to depart from Earth was Voyager 2. The launch on August 20, 1977, was successful, and Voyager 1 followed in September. The first photos of the Moon and Earth in the same frame were taken on July 18, 1977, when both spacecraft were on their way to explore the cosmos. NASA had already started to make history at this point, which happened soon after the launch, but the mission involved much more than simply hanging out in the Moon's shadow. It was done to explore the solar system specifics. We reside in a carefully designed mission, from beginning to end. Despite the fact that we depict the solar system as being perfectly circular, actually, not all of the planets orbit in some variation of an oval shape. The planets on the Voyager's initial itinerary were all directly in his path in August and September 1977, one of the rare times when they were perfectly aligned to make effective space travel conceivable. The distance it had to deviate from the course to reach its destination would be minimal. Because the Voyages do not use solar power or conventional gasoline, this was crucial. Instead, with a long voyage ahead of them, they employ ergs, and within a year, using them effectively became crucial. The explorers had reached Jupiter and had sent 4,000 photos of the planet. Additionally, two new moons and another ring were found. It was evident after the first year that it was worthwhile to launch the $865 million probes into orbit. While some may disagree with that assertion, we cannot argue that it is becoming increasingly important to comprehend the solar system in which we live. More and more information is being sent back by the travelers. As time went on, the situation grew crazier. The Voyager was planned to visit Saturn. That turned out to be more challenging than NASA had anticipated shortly after the Jupiter mission was a success. Because in addition to encountering challenging terrain and numerous space rocks, the Voyager also found Saturn to have four extra moons, including the largest moon, which no one had previously known about. One of the most recent discoveries, Titan, showed us what was lacking from all of the daughter. We also didn't have the crucial information. This was the point at which Voyager's first mission was formally completed. NASA scientists altered the trajectory to leave our solar system rather than traveling in the direction of Neptune or Uranus. It was intended for Voyager 2 to take its position and travel to the planets, which it has already done. On August 25, 2012, the Voyager spacecraft successfully completed the border crossing of the solar system. But right before that, the solar system as a whole, with all the planets, is sent. It was the first opportunity to truly appreciate how tiny the Earth is in the scope of things. And once it passed directly through the heliopause and heliosphere, it formally started its journey outside of the solar system. The Voyage's initial objective for their journey was to explore the solar system. Nobody could have anticipated how long-lasting technology from the 1970s would be. Leaving aside reaching an interstellar level, the Voyager isn't in perfect shape and many of its systems had to be shut off in order to maintain it operating the way it has for the entire period. There were never any significant problems with the cameras working or the data getting back to Earth. Even though the speed of information has slowed, the fact that we can still receive messages from the frontier of the solar system doesn't make waiting a few hours for message all that unpleasant. But this year, everything has been called into doubt. Currently, the Voyager is over 15 billion kilometers from Earth. Additionally, the spacecraft seems to be operating. The communications it has been transmitting have occasionally contained dot abnormalities. It was found that the spacecraft was having trouble determining its location and its intended course. Judith Dodd, 
the safe mode manager for the project explained that problems like this are typical, given that the project has been ongoing for 45 years at this time. The spacecraft had not yet entered safe mode despite the issues. The notification that the spacecraft had made contact with an alien object appeared to have come from Fort MC NASA. It initially seemed as though something or someone had made contact with the Voyager, but it could have been a gas pocket, a rock, or pretty much anything else that could exist out there in space. It would be terrible to consider, and to make matters worse, it took 21 hours each time because of how far away the spacecraft is to gather data. That implies that you would have to wait at least a day to learn what would occur next. The spacecraft's altitude articulation and control system malfunctioning and causing the spacecraft to get disoriented in orbit was the probable problem that the NASA team was able to pinpoint. Before the data was transferred to NASA, it was garbled since it was sending messages to a dead computer. Fortunately, it was a situation that could be fixed from the control room on Earth. NASA gave it some instructions, but permitted it to send data back to the proper computer, successfully fixing the message's corruption. Given that the Voyager wasn't even intended to be operating at this point, some five decades after launch, it was all just a malfunction. It's hard to determine if the problem was actually a glitch. The project's scientists have determined that the Voyager was completely functional, therefore they are unable to explain why, after operating for decades, it decided to start sending signals through a dead computer. The computers and Voyager continue to operate regularly even after the update. The only explanation they can come up with for why it might have changed is if it had come into contact with something that changed the way it sends signals back to NASA Voyager's current location, which is farther than any previous spacecraft has traveled. There are two options available, either for the first time in nearly five decades. The Voyager encountered a random fault, or something else fundamentally altered the way it operated. It sent us a message, which we might not fully comprehend at this time, due to anything. But that doesn't imply we should completely ignore it, because we don't comprehend it yet. There's a chance that this message is saying something more profound than what we're being told. And if that's the case, the Voyager not only exceeded everyone's expectations, however, it also made contact with entities who have communicated with us. And if we only receive one message of that kind, it might possibly be the start of something much more significant than anyone could have foreseen with Voyager 2 continuing the legacy of the first. In terms of achievement, we might discover more about the unknowable. In the future, this bug might end up being much more helpful than we presently think it will be terrifying. We'll stop the video for today now. What do you make of the letter Voyager sent to NASA? Do you believe it to be a glitch or do you believe the content to be much scarier than they're letting on? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed it. See additional videos like this. I'll see you in the next.